Hello friends, in this video I will repair this inverter. This is a very known version of inverter. This is a cheap inverter. As you can see, it's modifying sine wave inverter. It's uh, something between uh, square and sinus. This one is uh, 24 volts uh, input voltage and uh, 230 volts output. It has uh, 300 watts continuous power and 600 watts surge power. Now let's make a test. I've opened this to save time. This is... This is a fuse. It's a 20 amps fuse. The fuse is good. Now let's make a short test. Here I have 24 volts, 1 amp from my power supply. As you can see, when I apply here, it's a spark and it's a short circuit inside. Usually these uh, square wave inverters are made very simple. There is uh, one half from uh, 24 volts, so in this part from 24 volts with these two MOSFETs and this transformer gives out uh, 300 volts and uh, here we have uh, rectifying diodes and here it's a capacitor of uh, 46 microfarads to 400 volts. And these four output mod MOSFETs from this uh, continuous voltage, they are two H bridges. And with uh, these two H bridges, we'll make to the output uh, a square voltage of 240 volts. Now let's test. First of all, let's test the fuse. Fuse it's good. Here we have protection diode. And these are the input MOSFETs. It seems this uh, MOSFET is fouled and this one is good. And now these are rectifying diodes. Good, 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 good. This uh, is capacitor. Is short circuit and this output MOSFET H bridge And we have uh, all the line in short circuit. I presume uh, one of these or two of these are in short circuit. Now let's take out these uh, transistors and measure. This one it seems is good. And this one I bet it's a short.
this one is fully short now let's check the protection diode protection diode is good now there is a bridge here between uh, this capacitor and this uh, level and I will uh, interrupt this circuit because in uh, first stage I want to repair this uh, half and after that I will repair uh, second half you can see this wire it's a shunt I believe it's uh, measuring the output current here we have uh, 23 amps and uh, 100 volts MOSFETs instead of that, this I will put uh, 80 amps and 100 volts MOSFETs I will replace both of them I will keep this one maybe I will need in another project the good one now let's check again the output and there is a parasite load so I will power this up and I will use uh, 24 volts and 1 amp I will use 0 0.5 amps I don't have any power consumption I have 0 amps now let's measure the input uh, voltage let's check here input voltage 24 volts it's a uh, turn off from this uh, switch so this is the plus and this is the minus it's 24 volts 24 volts now let's turn on I had a very big power consumption let's check the voltage on this capacitor this should be 300 volts but somewhere there is a problem now uh, let's uh, take out this uh, MOSFETs now let's measure these two transistors this is bad this one also is bad now let's measure the other one it seems one is good and one is bad but I will replace a fourth of them all fourth of them are bad now let's measure the voltage to the out the, re the resistance now let's measure the resistance here to the output and now we don't have a short circuit here now let's replace this IRF 740 now I've replaced all four output MOSFETs I solder again this uh, shunt resistor and now let's make a test now this is off and it's uh, 0 amps power consumption let's turn on and uh, measure the voltage here this green LED is on fault LED it's off now let's measure the voltage on this capacitor we have 280 volts 
Now let's move to AC and measure the output. Voltage is good, frequency is good. Let's check if these transistors are hot. They are a little hot. I cannot make a power test without these MOSFETs put on a heat sink. Everything seems good. Now let's put everything back. You have to be very careful and put this uh, insulation pad back. Now let's test this inverter. I will use this lamp, 75 watts. I will put my power supply on 24 volts and 5 amps. I have no power consumption because it's uh, off. Now let's turn on. It has soft start. I have 4 amps power consumption. Everything seems good. The, it's not warm, it's cold. Now let's see the shape on the oscilloscope, with the load and without the load. Now let's make the final test. I put the oscilloscope to the output. I put on uh, AC. Now let's turn on the inverter without the load. Now you can see the shape. This is a modified sinus. That's not sinus, but that's not a square wave. We have a peak to peak 280 volts and frequency of 50 Hertz. As you can see on my power supply, we have 0 0.2 power consumption. Now let's uh, put the bulb. As you can see now the power consumption is 4 amps. The peak to peak voltage is 120 volts and the frequency is uh, 50 Hertz. Let's measure the voltage with the multimeter on AC. The multimeter shows us 230 volts. Now, now, now I see we have peak to peak uh, 520 volts and uh, medium voltage it's probably 230 volts. Now you can see again the shape without the load. You can see with the load the duty cycle is increasing and without the load it's decreasing. Now let me tell you my opinion about this inverter. It's a cheap uh, inverter, medium price, medium quality. I am sure that the problem with this inverter was because of an overload on the output and not because it's a problem with the design of this inverter. And uh, when uh, we put, you put here an overload on the output, probably this cheap inverter doesn't have enough uh, and quick protection. And because of that, two of these uh, final MOSFETs got short circuit. After that got that two or three got short circuit, then uh, first two MOSFETs on the input got in short because of the overload. If you use an inverter like this, 
please write a comment and tell us if you are happy with this inverter or not. If you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. Th thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.